Okay, so for this problem, I'm asked to find the integral of f along the curve given by r of t. So f is z negative x y, and r of t is cosine t sine t sine t. And I'm looking for t between 0 and 2 pi. So let me write down the general form of this line integral. So I have the integral of f of r of t dotted with r prime of t, and then just integrated with respect to t. So let's go ahead and find r prime. So I'm just going to differentiate each term with respect to t. So let's look at the first one. The derivative of cosine t is going to be negative sine t. And then the derivative of sine t is going to be cosine t. Okay, now we want to find f of r of t. So to do that, I want to plug the i component of r of t in everywhere I see an x, and then the j component in everywhere I see a y, and the k component everywhere I see a z. So let's go ahead and do that. So my first term in f is z, so that's just going to be sine t. My second term is negative x, so I'm going to have negative cosine t. And then my third term is y, so I'm just going to have sine t. Now let's go ahead and find that dot product with f of r of t and r prime of t. So to do that, remember we just multiply the i components and then add them to the product of the j components plus the product of the k components. So first I'm going to have sine of t times negative sine of t, so negative sine squared. And then I'm going to have negative cosine times cosine, so negative cosine squared. And then for my last term, I'm going to have sine of t times cosine of t. Okay, well, I see a trig identity here that I can cancel out. So negative sine squared of t minus cosine squared of t is like negative 1 times sine squared plus cosine squared, which we know is 1. So I can rewrite this as sine t cosine t minus 1. And I want to integrate that with respect to t for t between 0 and 2 pi. So let's go ahead and set that up. Okay, so for sine of t, cosine of t, I'm going to have to do something, and I'm going to use a u substitution, and I'm going to set u equal to sine of t. Oh, first off, let me go ahead and separate this integral into two different pieces, right? By linearity, I can say that the integral of sine of t, cosine of t, minus the integral of 1 is the same as this. So let me go ahead and rewrite that. So now I have two separate integrals to work with. And the second one, that's going to be really easy, right? I integrate dt, I get t. I evaluate that from 2 pi to 0. I plug in 2 pi, and I'm going to get minus 2 pi. 
So that was the easy half of this integral. Now let's do the harder one. U substitution, and I'm going to set u equal to sine of t. So when I differentiate that, I'm going to get du equals cosine t dt. So I can say that this portion is my u, and this portion is my du. And the integral of u du looks a lot easier than what I had to begin with. But I need to change my bounds of integration. So we know u equals sine of t. So for the lower bound, let's plug in 0. u equals the sine of 0, which is just going to be 0. And then let's plug in 2 pi. u equals the sine of 2 pi, which is also 0. So both of my bounds are the same. If I integrate this, I'm going to get 1 half u squared. evaluated from 0 to 0, and I'm just going to get 0. So the only part of this integral that actually has a value is the second half, as negative 2 pi. So that's my answer for the integral of f along this curve.